The hardest part for me early on was knowing how to talk to solution providers. I do realize, you know, we're a purchaser, and so we can say, we're not buying your product until this happens, but what about those little free apps that come about, and those free extensions that your teachers say they want to use? And I would often get, well, we're a small shop, we're a startup, we don't have legal counsel, we don't, and so it's like, okay, how do I come back on that one? Um, and so that was part of the reason I, f I wanted to be part of the Student Data Privacy Consortium because little old Green Bay may say, okay, well, we're not going to use your product then. But finding the consortium then was saying, okay, we're part of this consortium and we're, we got a lot of friends here. We're going to let everyone know about the pitfalls of this and you're going to find that no one's going to want to use your product. So you decide now, do you want to make this work or do you not want to make it work? Um, I've had five years of practice on that and I found now um, that when leaders in Wisconsin have difficulties with those conversations. I say, invite me in. I'll be very happy to help. And so I back up. I explain, you know, why we need a consortium, how we're all working together, and how it's beneficial for that solution provider to have signed the Wisconsin Data Privacy Agreement because then it opens the door for all the other school districts to get their product as well. So it's worth it's worth going to their legal counsel. It's worth putting and escalating up the, the chain of priorities if they want to get more Wisconsin business. And I think that's been helpful. Um, the talking with providers is difficult. And as these new things come up, more surveillance type items, more things that collect voice or, or, or even engagement and all those things, we need to be very careful about that. And so being able to talk with my peers, develop vocabulary uh, and approaches, I think is very helpful. Steve Smith, of course, from Cambridge, um, was one of my early mentors on that because I would say, Steve, here's what they're telling me. What do I say back? And so he would give me a paragraph and I even filed those things away. So I'm going to put that into a document to leave when I retire from Green Bay so that that can be used. I'll probably share it with, with um, other, other leader peers as well because, you know, everyone has their lines, everyone has their excuses why they can't do these things. And so if we can foil them <laughs> with our language, I think, or at least help them understand more deeply, that would be the best solution.